Hi guys and welcome to Unity tutorial of Super Character Controller and as you can see I've embedded some other characters straight onto this Super Character including the Starter Asset here that is one of the avatar or mannequin from the Starter Asset walking towards the ladies you can see one of them sitting down the other one just walking along the pavement but now let's just go ahead and straight into the building i've taken all of the doors of the buildings now let's him just go straight into the building and you guys see what the building is all about now let him go left right and right again no i think it's meant to go down down the stairs and straight to the hallway dead and that is where we're going check out that check this super character controller out and that takes you to another building there so let's run to the other building okay and the doors of that building as well is has been taken off there look at that guys that's how beautiful this uh, package is so you can always download it i will include the link of this very package the super character controller and i will also include the link of the starter assets so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take you guys straight into Unity development environment and we put one of these together. So let's do that now guys. Exit out. There we go. Now, first of all, what you guys need to do is to go straight into Windows. Click on the package manager right here. And if you have some asset in Unity, you should be able to just get hold of it in your own asset so if you have never logged in or sign up with unity please do that so if you come right down here that is for the the one i just clicked on now is for the starter asset third person controller and here is the super character controller itself as for the super character uh, controller, it's an open, open source first and third person controller with rigid body. Okay, uh, so just click on import and so on. Okay, I'm going to end that. Now, I have officially import the super character controller, um, which is it is right here, and I also have my starter asset here with the super character controller like i said earlier it's a 3d and first person controller with rigid body okay with rigid body based controller for the unity engine okay and it's designed to fit a wide range of games so just like i've proven now so i'm going to double click on this demo double click on that and you see right here i'm going to double click on this demo oh Let's double click on that and there we go that is my environment here now a lot of uh, modification is going to take place in here because if i did run this and try to go through the door i'll be able to go through the door but i believe with the unity or the starter asset i was unable to go through the door and right now i can't even do anything with it because i think maybe I've, because i've added some other component okay so what i'm going to do is first of all i need to locate where i'm going to position my my character okay i'm going to position my character somewhere there and you see if you guys notice all of these uh I think what what are they? Let's try to see if we can click on them again. Okay, you see on the road there are some object there. Okay, barrier controller. Look at them. You see the barrier controller? Let's move this so that you can see it properly. 
there we go let's double click on it there they are that's the barrier controller there I'm going to actually uncheck the barrier controller okay and here I also have the door okay that is the door there okay the door. let's double click on the door I'm gonna get rid of that door if you look closely you will see some writing here that says press E to open the door okay I think it's known as the help that is it right there help I'm gonna get rid of that help and get rid of the door I'm not actually getting rid of them it's just um, just disable them but in any case before I do that let me get my character my starter asset in place first so let's do that first and double click on the door so that we go in straight out there okay now I'm gonna go into my starter asset double click on my starter asset there and go straight into the third person controller now go into the prefab inside the prefab I need the player and this very one right there once the system is ready there we go I'm gonna grab that just dump it right there somewhere okay so where is it that is it right there all right I want to make sure I'm able to see it properly let's reposition the whole lot so let's click on the player amateur that is it right there move it so where we can see that's my player amateur there look at that so I'm going to double click on it so I can see it properly. There we go. All right. I have my player amateur in place. Well, let's make sure. Let, let's collapse all of this. And make sure the player amateur. Okay, the player amateur is right here. All right. So now I'm going to go straight into the tools here. Because I won't be able to do much with this player amateur first. Let's run it. You see what I'm talking about see that is the player I'm not sure but I cannot sort of like move the player I'm not sure that much yeah I cannot I don't have I don't seem to have much control of the player I'm not sure so what I'm going to do now is let's exit out I'm going to come right in here you see where we have tools you see the starter asset I'm going to reset third person controller amateur there we go once it's reset you now see the main camera third person uh, the player amateur there so I should be able to now control this very player um, the very amateur and the camera should follow us around so let's run that and see how that looks like it's coming up now there we go look at that okay now if you notice the camera is now following us you know why because the super character camera is still active and this is a right there the super the super first person controller camera if you click on that look at the camera so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uncheck that as well so that is it is disabled so let's run it now so that is what you guys need to do there we go so we are now in control you see that this is a very very beautiful package that can be modified according to the provider so if you look at the writing here it says press E to open the door I'm gonna press E but unfortunately believe me I don't know why I cannot open the door I've been pressing E nothing is happening I don't think I'm doing anything wrong but he is now opening the door with other characters in it so I'm going to exit out and let's go and look for that very door in here somewhere the door is right here and let's see that is the help and that's the front door good so double click on the front door that is the front door and that is the help very good so the help I'm going to uncheck that there and I will also uncheck the front door 
I didn't delete them, they are all there, but just uncheck them. So now, run my program again and let this guy walk straight into the door. There are some other doors at the back that needs to be unchecked as well. So let's run into this building. Okay, there's a door there. We need to uncheck that door or press E. Nothing is happening. Okay, so let's come back. Uh, we can even just play around and see, go into the office. All right, uncheck that. Now, I'm going to go back in there and look for some other door. Look at the back door. There's a door right at the back. So that's one of the doors I'm going to just uncheck so that I can walk through. Um, let's see there should be some other doors there in the house you see the house there's a door right in front of the house itself let's go right down that's the door this main door so I'm gonna uncheck that as well good so let's go back to my player amateur right there just double click on him and you should be back here now if you notice on my with my or with my demonstration I actually repositioned this car or it's called something minivan something like that so if you guys want to reposition yours you can just look for it I think it's here okay the minivan should be part of the external world object so let me drop this down and there we go that's the minivan okay you can reposition it if you want okay so i'm gonna just click on it again and reposition the whole lot okay instead of dragging it along i'm just going to change your coordinate you see right here in the inspector i'm going to enter minus 9.63 and up here if you notice i'm just dealing with the position that would be minus 0 0.038 and let's come down here that would be minus 9.8 or let's say 778 and finally because i want the car to be facing the opposite direction look at the car it's right here but i want it to face the opposite direction i'm just going to change this one to 180 and there we go that's it done we've taken care of the car and all the doors are removed as well now in the previous one you noticed there was a lady sitting here and another one just doing our own thing doing cart work so let's get hold of those so to take care of that, I'm going to go straight to example right here. That is the sitting lady. You can change the character to whatever you want. Okay, just either you change the character to any other character you want or whatever. So this character, I think this character is good enough for me. All right, so I'm going to come in here and just click on download and so on. I've already downloaded it, so I'm going to cancel, but this is what you guys need to do to download. I selected the collado and then click on download. Cancel that and minimize that. Now I'm going to open up my folder where I downloaded. That's the laughing lady there. Extract the laughing lady. Once it's extracted, you should be able to get a file. That is the file of the laughing lady. I'm now going to come right here inside my asset there. I'm going to drag the la laughing lady, just dump her right there. And right there, that is the folder of the laughing lady. Now, the other one that I'm going to need is the catwalk lady. So let's come in here. That is the catwalk lady. I've already extracted that. I'm going to drag that, just dump it right inside my project area as well. There we go. And there she is now double click on the the lady the laughing lady there she is if you drop this down those are the other component and here is the animation of the laughing lady so first of all make sure it's selected come in here you see where we have rig and click on that and change the animation type to humanoid there 
click on apply and repeat exactly the same thing you see where we have animation come right there I want it to repeat itself you see it right here loop time make sure it's checked okay and you can check the other one as well okay now that the pause and the loop time is checked now I'm going to right click in here well we need to click on apply so click on apply for that as well okay now I'm going to right click in here and go to create then select animation tool controller that's my animator controller there I'm going to change the name of that to sitting there we go now double click on your animator controller and then click on this player head of the laughing lady and you see here that is your animator controller drag and drop it right there you see it's officially connected okay the animation is now connected to your system so that is fine if i come back in here now collapse this i can drag the laughing lady straight on board but the problem is she is very huge okay before we take care of our size see the animator controller i'm going to drag it and drop it inside the laughing ladies controller on the inspector there we go look at that now let's take care of this the size so let's come straight to the position first so i'm going to make the position minus 20.73 that's for the x axis the y axis i'm going to make that 0 0.034 and the z axis of the position i'm going to make that 0 0.74 now let's take care of the rotation i'm going to make that 0 0.74 that is for the x axis the y axis of the rotation will be minus 127.70 okay i think i will make that seven seven hundred and two there and the z axis here i'm going to make that 2.25 and right here for the scale i'm going to make that 0 0.01 and come back here the 0 0.01 for the y axis and the z axis take a good look at it that's the lady coming up now for the z axis i'm going to make that 0 0.01 as well there we go that is the lady sitting right there and up here let's move her in a little bit make that minus that says minus 20.730 733 and there we go guys that's the lady taking a seat all right so let's run it and see how she's going to perform then we just add a cat walk lady as well let's see now look at that walk towards her man you see that there she is all right so that's fine see and we can also go straight into the building now since the doors are removed and so on okay guys let's exit out and uh, go back and replace or add the cats work lady in the edge so just exit out now come right here inside my asset double click on the cart work lady that's the cart work lady select the cart work lady as well go to rigid and change the amateur uh, the animator animation type to humanoid click on apply and click on animation let's select repeat loop and let's click on apply right there there we go there now i'm going to select the cartwork lady make sure she's selected oh before that let's create an animation for her right click on her on this um project area go to create and let's select animator controller and i'm just going to call that cartwork there we go double click on the cartwork animator controller and right here we're going to drag the animation 
which is right inside the catwalk double click on this player head that is the animation controller drag it and just dump it right here there we go that's the animation controller there okay go back to the scene now let's collapse all of this on the catwalk lady select that drag the catwalk lady on the place that there on the pavement there that's the catwalk lady she's huge now before i do any other adjustment i'm going to drag the catwalk animation go come straight to the inspector of the catwalk lady and drop it right inside the controller there okay now let's change the coordinate of this catwalk lady i will start with the position the position i'm going to make that minus yeah minus 23.58 okay now the next one is i'm going to just make this one 0 0.02 and here i'm going to make that minus 2.05 all of the rotation i'm just going to leave that because she's just walking around so let's change the size the size is going to be 0 0.01 as well so coming in 0 0.01 and the scale is all 0 0.01 right there that is your cut work lady okay now let's click on run and there we go let's see the lady there we go look at the cut work lady taking a work see that guys and that is how you actually customize this very beautiful package i strongly recommend it for you guys to just play around with it Oh, I like it, it's good, you can modify, do whatever you like with it. And and that's all there is to it. So with that, I'm going to call it the end of this tutorial. And please do subscribe to my channel. And you can also join to become a member of the channel. So you all have a nice day. And i see you guys shortly. Bye for now. See you guys later.